here we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, today is September 19th. <laughs> Woo! Um, I just got back from nannying for the weekend. It's intense. I knew it would be intense. But I still got some artwork done. So I think I got four or five pages inked this weekend. So, and I got a whole episode penciled. So not bad, you know, for doing it on the side. Um, energy wise, I feel pretty good. So I'm feeling tired. I'm super glad to be home, but I don't feel burnt out. That's good. <laughs> Um, I stopped on the way home at my favorite coffee shop, Espresso Royale, and got a decaf coffee. Um, which might keep me up late tonight, but uh, it tastes so darn good, I don't care. Also, haven't vlogged the last couple weeks. Technically, I did record stuff. I just felt like I was rambly. I don't know. I felt really disoriented the last couple of weeks, art-wise. I don't know what was going on. But anyway, I just kind of thought today, after I was done babysitting, babysitting, <laughs> um, just, you know what, I don't feel good about the footage that I got. I didn't do anything super remarkable drawing-wise that I recorded, so I'll just, I'll just let that footage go into the ether and forget about it. And that was a very freeing thought to have, to just say, you know what, you don't like it, you don't publish it. Let's move on and record a new vlog. So, I did do a few interesting things the last couple of weeks. One, I got stickers. More stickers. Daisy and Eleanor. Eleanor, where you at? Eleanor arrived in the mail three weeks ago, I think. So it's a vinyl sticker from, yeah, vinyl, from Sticker App. So you can't get these yet. If you want her, you have to sign up on my Patreon uh, in October. For anyone just tuning in, this month, it's Dazer. So if you want this guy, you gotta sign up in September. Which, as of the recording of this video, is less than... By the time this video goes up, you probably only have about a week to sign up. <laughs> anyway, but it's Dazer. But, no, there's more. The packaging I'm going to use arrived. So it's this envelope. Pretty basic, but I think the color is cute. It's like a aqua teal color. And then I got these stickers to go on it. And I'm excited about these because they're actually transparent. So the black will be straight on like the teal color. There's no white backing. So I think that'll look super cute. But wait! Oh no, but wait, there's more. These arrived this weekend. I was actually almost late for one of my jobs because I stopped. These are the postcards for my $5 level, lever, <laughs> the $5 tier on Patreon. I'm trying to get them out one-handed, just a second. These came out so flippin' good. Okay, so originally I called this the postcard, but I almost feel like I need to change it to like the mini print tier because this is way higher quality than most postcards I've received. And I got it from a company. I don't actually know how to say their name. <laughs> I've ordered from them a lot. I don't know how to say their name. I'll put their name up here. Um, but they, I mean, it is considered an art print. It's matte, it's not textured or anything like that, so it's not that fancy, but it's so crisp. Can I zoom in here? Here we go. So ridiculously crisp. And clean. Sorry, I'm trying to get my camera to focus. It's just, wow. I'm so excited to do more stuff, more prints from them. And I think this is the first time I've ever like printed digital artwork of my own like at this scale. You know, I've done little reproductions or printed myself, but yeah, these are su these are super nice. So, uh, there's that. A whole bunch of concept art for my side project is gonna go up on Patreon. 
Um, so if you're interested in concept art or if you want to see what I'm working on someday after Days of Eleanor, um, anybody at the $1 tier can see that. So $1 patrons are going to get a whole bunch of concept art in the next couple weeks. I have a ton lined up. $3 tier people are going to get this fella. And then $5 tier are going to get this postcard. It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found what you're looking for I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you Than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living In two separate worlds Come on back to me Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I want to hold you close Ooh, it's not very bright. <laughs> it's actually not very bright outside. The sun's coming up, but we're supposed to have rain and storms all day, so it's just kind of dark. Anyway, hopefully you can see what appears to be a small bush in my living room. <laughs> the temperatures are supposed to plummet this week, and I'm kind of guessing we don't have very many hot days left. Like, the temperatures might come back up again, but we're probably mostly done with the really intense summer heat. Maybe. Anyway, <laughs> I think starting on Wednesday, the high is going to be in the 60s, so big temperature drop. Um, I brought in a couple of my plants that I want to keep alive during the winter so they can acclimate before I have to start running uh, the heat in here and stuff. Um, so there's this one. This is my dragon wing begonia. Begonia? It's dragon wing, whatever it is. And this thing, I bought it, it was like half the size when I bought it. Um, like a month and a half ago. So it's grown really well. And I have kept these alive indoors through the winter, but in my old house, there were uh, a couple rooms that were much better for light. I had lots of south facing windows. So, um, yeah, the light was better in my old house. So we'll see if I can do it here. <laughs> but yeah, I brought this one in. I'm leaving it on the towel because it rained last night, so it's pretty wet. I brought this one in. And then I also, I have to go to work pretty soon, but I rearranged my room. It's really dark in here, but you can see those are my succulents. I've been, also my dryer's running. Uh, I tested this grow light over the last few weeks. Um, put a couple of succulents under it, and they did seem to do well. Like They didn't grow like crazy, but they also didn't die, and they did grow a tiny bit. So, um, yeah, my succulents have been outside, but now they're there, and then... Uh, this begonia, this is another dragon wing begonia, um, that came in, and then my rubber leaf plants came in. <laughs> this is, this, I don't know, this plant really likes full sun. This plant likes high heat and high humidity, but no full sun, uh, no direct sun, I should say. Um, so I'm putting them in my, my one south facing window. We'll see how they do. And I got my big Monstera, my little Monstera. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that's uh, that's what I did this morning. <laughs> but now I need to get ready to go to work. I really love this plant. And I hope I keep it alive because then it will be huge next summer. <laughs> All right, I have to leave for work in like 20 minutes, so <laughs> I need to get dressed and stuff. I went and did all this in my PJs. Go down doing a plant shuffle in my PJs. All right, time to go to work.
<laughs> Hello. I've just uh, finished babysitting. It was a pretty busy day, but kind of in a good way. There's some days where I just feel like I manage my energy levels well and I invest a lot of energy where I should and I find time to take breaks where I should. I can't always manage my babysitting days that well, but today I feel like I did. Let's talk about art stuff. Where's my stand? I have five done out of nine. That's pretty good. I'm halfway done with the line art. Um, okay, so it's five out of ten. Still, halfway. I did upload some art to Patreon um, um, for my secret side project. I'll show you guys one, one image up close because I kind of already shared this a little bit on Instagram, a version of it anyway. Here we go. Yeah, I shared this on uh, Patreon along with some other concept art, so what I'll share for right now is this guy's name is Toby, and her name is Meg, and I really love drawing Meg. So I shared a bunch of that project, and this is a project that it pretty much has taken root as um, my next comic, but I'm so close to almost being ready to announce it. Like this story has, it doesn't quite have a script yet, but it has a summary. It's got sketches for many of the side characters. Um, it's oh, it's coming along, and I'm I love it so much. Um, what time is it? Eight. It's already after eight o'clock. There's actually a pretty good chance this episode will be up this week because I'm already more than halfway done with the line art, and um, I don't have to work this weekend. All right, I think I'll ink some pages, and maybe while I'm doing that, I'll plug this camera into my desktop and transfer some files. Yeah, that sounds like a good use of my evening. Usually I'm like, time to wind down, gonna play some Zelda or something, but I kind of feel like working. So let's, let's run with it, let's get some work done. redo my hair. Good morning, it's Tuesday, uh, August, just kidding, September 21st, and I obviously haven't done anything, I just got up, got ready for work, but I wanted to share that it's raining right now, and it's the, like, most peaceful, relaxing sound in the world. <laughs> I really didn't want to get out of bed, it was so calm, but I checked the weather and the high today is supposed to be 67. I'm so excited for cold weather. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I'm gonna go, go to work, take my iPad, and hopefully get some more panels inked. Wish me luck. Let's go to work. Days without water Along the sun so grown We cross over borders to get where we are And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you What up? <laughs> I'm just sitting on the floor. I don't know why. I don't know. Just sitting cross-legged on the floor seemed way more cozy than my desk chair. Also, my desk chair is broken. I can't get it to focus. That's how broken it is. And I don't think it's a. Uh, I don't think it's really fixable. Um, the hole that the screw goes into is stripped. So annoying. Anyway, but I'm not actually sad. Today was a good day. Um, sorry, this is distracting. And then I found out at the end of the day that in October I'm gonna have a bunch of time off. Well, not a bunch. Kind of a bunch. Um, in October, um, just by coincidence, a couple of the families I work for canceled. Like, they're gonna be one of them. Essentially, they're gonna be gone. But just by coincidence, it all happens in the same week. 
So this one week in October, the 11th to the 12th, or the 11th to the 12th, 11th to the 16th, 15th, whatever. Um, I only work one day that Monday through Friday. I only have one work day. That's gonna be amazing. So anyway, I found that out today, I'm really excited. And then the week before that, actually the fourth and fifth will be a lightweight week two. So that's exciting. Okay, so I did continue doing uh, some inking. Yes, okay, seven are done, so three more. Wow. Oh yeah, okay, I was trying to remember like what happens. Yes, okay, wow, only three more. Um, that's actually kind of tempting to do them tonight, to like do a all-nighter, not an all-nighter, it wouldn't take all night, but sort of do a little bit of a marathon, but um, I did a lot today during work, so I kind of feel like maybe I should take this evening off. Tomorrow is Wednesday, that's my day off, so it's also draw at the coffee shop day. <laughs> um, so yeah, I should just wait, and then I'll get it done really quick tomorrow, like, well, one of them, I'll get it done fairly quick. Sorry. I am not speaking very linearly right now. Anyway, <laughs> still haven't shaded the uh, st another sticker. This is going to be on Patreon in a couple months, and I want—I haven't shaded it yet, so I want to do that. And then I think I'm going to order postcards for Patreon next month. Um, one so that I can take photos of them and share them, but also the last postcards that I ordered did get lost in the mail. So, um, on the off chance that that happens again, I'm gonna just go ahead and order them early. Okay, I can feel my brain starting to fizzle out for the night, so we'll wrap up today, and uh, tomorrow we'll go to the coffee shop. Hey everybody, it's voiceover Miss Mark. <laughs> I didn't really do any worthwhile talking to the camera stuff on Wednesday this particular week. Um, just kind of buckled down and drew comic stuff and did some sketching, obviously. Um, but one thing that I kind of tried to talk about but it didn't come out very coherent, so I'm talking about it now. Um, which is kind of why I really feel motivated to do these vlogs and I don't think I've specifically mentioned this um, so recently I lost some footage which was very frustrating and demotivating um, but one thing that I just really do like about these vlogs there's kind of two things and one is like what I get from the vlogs and it's really like I it's surprisingly fun for me to um, look back on this footage and to kind of reflect on it and think about like the progress I made even in one week <laughs> um, so that's one reason that I really love doing these um, even though this is only uh, the third published one there was another one that was lost so technically this is vlog number four but anyway um, the other reason is I really want to share what it's like to work on a comic and do art on the side of having a um, full-time day job that's not art related just because it's possible and I want people to know that it's possible and it's hard and I want people to know that it's hard and that you're not alone if you're feeling like it's really hard to manage a day job and a side thing like a comic or you know maybe you're not maybe you don't have a day job maybe you're in college and uh, or maybe you have a family which is kind of you know basically a job um, you know maybe you have all these daytime obligations and it feels really hard to make a comic and I just feel like these vlogs are I want to add to the things that motivate me to make comics which is you're not alone when you do it. It is hard, and that doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. <laughs> it's hard for everyone. <laughs> that kind of stuff is motivating for me, anyway. Hopefully it's motivating for you. Because um, I thought about these vlogs on top of my day job and on top of making comics. These vlogs are a lot of work, 
and I do regularly feel like I am at my maximum capacity, but I don't feel at this point, I don't feel like I'm overworking myself. I do need to be careful and like when I lost that footage and I lost the project from the previous vlog, um, it was possible to redo some of it, but that would have that would have pushed me over the edge to redo a vlog. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's why I'm doing these vlogs, and um, I hope I'm not repeating myself. <laughs> Maybe I am. I also kind of felt a little bit insecure about doing this because I feel like each week is more or less the same thing. It feels like I'm perpetually inking or flatting a comic. Or maybe sketching it, but it's, I mean, comics are the same steps over and over again, so that feels a little dull. But you are making progress, and so I'm sharing my progress so that maybe you feel motivated to make progress, even though it feels redundant. You know, you are, you are moving forward. So, yeah, I just, just thought I'd jump in here on this, this little chunk of Wednesday footage and, and share that with you. <laughs> life in boxes erasing the memory so you won't notice I'm taking the time to good morning crusty crew <laughs> that's actually what I want to say every time I open I start filming in the morning is good morning crusty crew <laughs> um how are things going good question comic episode for hopefully this weekend it's all inked so I'm gonna start flatting this morning yeah, I think that's the plan for this morning. It's pretty simple. Let's do that. I got my coffee. I got my smoothie. And I have my cinnamon scented candle because it's fall. I don't care when the actual, when is the first day of fall? It's today, the, was yesterday the first day of fall? Yesterday was the first day of fall. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't, well I did. I got a pumpkin spice latte yesterday so that's all right that's all right okay anyway it is officially fall now according to google so i have my cinnamon scented candle okay let's get some work done before i have to go babysit Taking my time through boxes and lies. We were so good at flying, but we can't keep flying. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. I have my glasses on, so I don't know what day it is today, but it's Saturday. <laughs> um, uh, since it's Saturday, I'm not working, and uh, I didn't, I kind of forgot this. I didn't have last weekend off. I worked through the weekend because I was nannying. And so it's, I haven't had a weekend in two weeks. So <laughs> I'm going to go to the coffee shop this weekend. I'm going to take my iPad. I think I have four, two, three, four. Okay, five. I have five panels left to flat and then I can go on to shading. And I do, I think I can get it done today. It's a lot. It is and it isn't. Anyway, um, I think I can get it, get it done today. I'm going to go and flat those panels and then I'm gonna play some Switch, see where Saturday takes us. Days without water. Hello again, voiceover me. <laughs> um, I just wanna jump in, I didn't, uh, on camera, I didn't film like a sign off or a closer or whatever you call this. So I thought I would jump on here and say thank you guys for watching. 
If you're interested, the footage in here, most of it, was my webcomic, Days Are in Eleanor, which you can read over on Webtoons. Link is in the description. And uh, the episode that you see in this in this vlog was finished on time. Well, it was finished on Sunday morning instead of Saturday. Anyway, it was it is finished, and it's up on Webtoons, so you can read it. Or if you're just a little curious, you can see the finished version of it. You don't have to read the whole comic. It's a lot of episodes. <laughs> But I would appreciate it if you like the comic to like it, subscribe, share it, comment, all that great stuff. Even more so than YouTube. Like, that comic means the world to me. And if you enjoy it, like, those are the best ways to show your support is to kind of make sure that more people can read it. You know, that's... Readership is what it is all about for web comics. So... Yeah, I think that is it. Oh, I also have a Patreon, and I want to give a shout out to my patrons. Um, we are almost to double digits in on Patreon, which is super exciting, and uh, I couldn't be more grateful for all the support on Patreon, on YouTube, Instagram, Webtoons, all these things. I just love that people love my work. It's the best feeling in the world. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you.